Squirrel, you uh, I guess you got to be really eager. You know, a lot of you guys didn't get a lot of carries last year. What what's kind of the attitude in the room right now? You know, it's just really uh, last year was last year. You know, we're letting that go. We took a lot of mental reps last year. So year, this year, we're just really looking forward. To, you know, getting better as a team, getting better in the running back room, and picking up the slack with the guys that left last year left us. Mentally, how have you kept your self right just with all the injuries and stuff? How have you, you know, kind of just shook that off, I guess? You know, the injury, injury is going to come within this sport, you know, so mentally in the headspace, I've been pouring into my body in the training room, trying to make sure I'm uh, healthy for this year, so I'm ready to go. Have you put a little bit on? Oh, uh, yes, sir. What, what are you up to? Uh, as of right now, I'm up to 175. 175? Yes, sir. Are you feeling healthy that you can do everything you want to do? Yes, sir. I feel very healthy. Being one of the older guys on the team, uh, you know, how have you helped maybe some of the uh, newer running backs or anyone along with your, your experience? Uh, I would say uh, my experience with injuries, I'm just telling these guys to pour into their bodies, get into the training room, really work on your body because, you know, in the long run, those wears and tears is really going to wear down. If you take care of your body, it'll really take care of you. Well, what do you feel like you kind of add with your skill set? Uh, I would say my dominant trait is my speed, so anytime I get to use it, I'm using it. Are you a good receiver out of the backfield too, or is that something you're working on? Or? Uh, yeah, I'd say my hands are really pretty good. You know, every day after practice, we're catching jugs, getting on the jugs, getting 100 buddy catches. So, you know, my hands are a lot better than what they used to be, and I'm really proud of that. How much we, confidence builds in that room after you guys see the season that Treston and Abram both had? Like, you know, the confidence is, is really high. Those guys really paved the path for us last year and seeing how those guys, uh, how their years went through college and how they really did it last year really paved the path for us young guys. And we can really see that and that's how we're moving forward. Do you feel pressure with that as well? Uh, no pressure at all, you know. I mean, I would say they took majority of the carry, so it's time for somebody to pick up the slack. But I, I feel very confident that me and the guys in the room were able to do that. When you saw the super senior O-lineman announcing they're coming back. What was kind of going through your head? You know, I'm excited. Uh, you know, you always would love a, to have a great old line, you know. So seeing those guys come back, I was really excited about that. What's sort of the, the atmosphere in the running back room? There's obviously a little bit of a competition for who's going to get snaps, but how are you all kind of dealing with that between, between yourselves? Uh, I don't think the guys in the running back room really look at it that way. You know, we just take it day by day, push each other, uh, help each other get better, pour into our playbooks, and, you know, when, it, when the time comes, whoever's out there, I know they'll be prepared to go.